The moon, a constant presence in our night sky, has always held a special place in human imagination. From ancient myths to modern science, it's been a source of wonder, mystery, and exploration. But what lies on its far side, the so-called dark side of the moon? And what real-life evidence have we left behind during humanity's historic Apollo missions? Buckle up as we journey through time to uncover the footprints, remnants, and stories left by astronauts who turned science fiction into reality. Before we dive into the Apollo missions, let's address a common misconception. The dark side of the moon isn't perpetually dark. It simply refers to the side that always faces away from Earth due to tidal locking. While the far side does receive sunlight, it remains unseen from our perspective until spacecraft revealed its secrets. Now, let's rewind to the 1960s, a decade dominated by the space race. The United States and the Soviet Union were vying for supremacy in space exploration. President John F. Kennedy's bold declaration to land a man on the moon by the end of the decade set the stage for one of humanity's greatest achievements, the Apollo program. It was a time when the impossible felt achievable and humanity dared to dream of reaching the stars. The Apollo 11 mission, launched on July 16, 1969, was the first to successfully land humans on the moon. Four days later, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history. As Armstrong stepped off the lunar module, he uttered the immortal words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a moment that united the world in awe and inspiration. But did you know the footprints they left are still there? The moon's lack of atmosphere means no wind, no rain, and no erosion to wipe away these marks. The tracks made by their boots and the wheels of the lunar rover remain perfectly preserved, frozen in time. The lunar dust, or regolith, is incredibly fine and clings to everything it touches. This unique texture helped preserve the prints, turning them into a lasting record of humanity's first steps on another world. This fascinating fact takes on new significance today with the rise of excitement in space exploration. Companies like SpaceX and programs like NASA's Artemis missions are reigniting humanity's passion for the cosmos. Artemis aims to not only return humans to the moon, but also establish a sustainable presence there, paving the way for Mars exploration. SpaceX, with its Starship program, has its sights set on making space travel more accessible, potentially enabling regular trips to the moon and beyond. The knowledge that over 50-year-old footprints still exist on the lunar surface is a testament to the unique conditions of the moon and a powerful reminder of our capacity for exploration. For those captivated by space, history, and technology, it's an awe-inspiring thought. The first steps of humankind on another world are still there, untouched and eternal. Apollo wasn't just one mission. It was a series of groundbreaking explorations that pushed the boundaries of science and technology. Apollo 12 landed in November 1969, with astronauts demonstrating precision landing capabilities by setting down near the Surveyor 3 spacecraft. This feat showcased their ability to target specific areas, a skill crucial for future lunar and planetary missions. They even brought pieces of the Surveyor back to Earth for study, giving scientists invaluable insights into the lunar environment. Then came Apollo 14, 15, 16, and 17, each leaving behind more than just footprints. Apollo 15's crew conducted geological studies and explored Hadley Rilla, a winding channel likely formed by ancient volcanic activity. They deployed a suite of scientific instruments to measure the moon's seismic activity, magnetic fields, and heat flow. This mission also introduced the lunar rover, a game changer that allowed astronauts to travel farther and collect more samples than ever before. Perhaps the most poetic remnant is the fallen astronaut, a small aluminum sculpture left by Apollo 15's crew 
to honor those who lost their lives in the pursuit of space exploration. This simple yet profound gesture reminds us of the sacrifices made to advance our understanding of the universe. Beyond tools and memorials, the scientific equipment deployed during these missions, like the retro reflectors used to measure the distance between Earth and the Moon, are still operational today, providing invaluable data to researchers. But what about the far side of the Moon? Although no human has set foot there, it played a crucial role in Apollo missions. The command modules orbited the Moon, giving astronauts a stunning view of its rugged, cratered surface. Radio communication was cut off when the spacecraft passed behind it, creating moments of eerie silence captured in astronaut transcripts. The far side wasn't explored directly by Apollo astronauts, but modern missions have continued to study it. China's Chang'e 4 mission, for example, landed a rover there in 2019, shedding light on its unique geology. This mission marked humanity's first soft landing on the far side, providing unprecedented insights into its composition and history. Scientists discovered new clues about the moon's formation and the early solar system, making the far side a treasure trove of knowledge. Future missions, like Artemis, may one day send humans to explore the far side. Its isolation makes it an ideal location for scientific research, including studying the universe's early days without interference from Earth's radio signals. Imagine a radio telescope on the far side, shielded from terrestrial noise, capturing the faint whispers of the cosmos. The Apollo missions left more than just footprints. They left stories, data, and inspiration that continue to shape our understanding of the moon and beyond. Today, as we prepare for humanity's next lunar chapter with NASA's Artemis program, we stand on the shoulders of those who ventured into the unknown decades ago. The collaboration between private companies like SpaceX and government agencies like NASA is ushering in a new era of space exploration. Lunar bases, advanced rovers, and even the possibility of 3D printing structures on the moon are no longer distant dreams, but tangible plans for the near future. The Artemis program's goal of landing the first woman and the next man on the moon symbolizes a renewed commitment to diversity and innovation in space exploration. So the next time you look up at the moon, remember, it's more than a celestial body. It's a testament to human curiosity, determination, and the enduring desire to explore. Who knows? Maybe one day, someone will stand on the far side of the moon and leave their own mark in history. Thank you for joining this journey through space and time. Be sure to share this story and keep looking up.